Good evening, Mr. Vargas. Oh, good evening, Tyler. How are you? I'm good. Do you have a question you want to ask me? Yeah, I've just... I've always wanted to know, how did you get to where you are in teaching now? Well, as you know, I am the music director here. Well, are you interested in going to music ed at all? Yeah, I was thinking of doing that for my career. Well, to begin, I found out what I wanted to do to make a difference. Oh, so like your purpose in life. Yeah, exactly. My purpose. So I did some deep thinking and I found that my purpose was to help unite and entertain people through my ability to include all to create a world full of joy. <laughs> that's kind of deep. Yeah, but that's not the point. The point is, is that you need to find what you're meant to do before you start in your path. When you find your purpose, you find a career you can adapt into. For me, I realized I love to teach and being able to provide joy through music gave music education an opportunity I couldn't give up. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So after you did all the mental thinking and stuff, what path did you take in college? Well, I actually didn't start off in college. I started off in high school. Really? Mm-hmm. In high school, I was lucky enough to have the chance to do dual enrollment at Valencia. Oh, isn't that the college right down the street? Yeah, I started out at Valencia and I worked to get my AA before leaving high school. It really helped out with uh, getting straight to my major. And after I graduated, I just got right to college and started. Did that help out with like costs and everything? Yeah, it was a pretty big help. Being able to do my AA before college and for free was a big help in paying for my bachelor's and all my fees. It's a part of my career that I can just get out of the way. So after you graduated, what did you do to prepare yourself for college? Well, before you graduate, you need to plan and start everything your senior year. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Rather than doing everything right after you graduate and having to like, mess with everything. Yeah, so before I graduated, I made sure to get my applications and documents that I needed. I completed my FAFSA and I applied for Florida State and the College of Music because you need to apply to both in order to be accepted. And then I started to look out for any scholarships I can get because I was really in need for some scholarships. Well, what scholarships did you end up getting? Well, I got Bright Futures, which gave me around $5,000, I believe, and I started working my senior year to help out with the costs. Well, how much in total did you need to pay for college for all the years you were there? Well, at Florida State, I took around 116 credit hours in my four years I was there, so... I think it was around like $89,000, which seems a lot, but for that, that was for all my expenses, including like my food, my transportation, my housing, and um, like all my fees and books. That seems like a lot. How did you end up paying for it? Well, like I said, I got Bright Futures, which paid for about $5,000, and the rest of it, I just paid with my own personal money that I earned up in high school and college just working. And whatever I couldn't pay from that, I had to get a loan out. And to this day, I'm still paying it. Do you have any recommendations for when I get to college? Well, I would recommend doing dual Roman at Valencia and getting your AA before you graduate. And doing dual Roman, you can do your new student experience class, which gives you the ability to have the chance to plan your entire future out. Um, I also recommend like starting your scholarships pretty early so you can get on top of things and make sure you have everything in order before you graduate. Um, 
Another really like big help you can get is just taking any help you can from other people. Like talk to your guidance counselor, talk to your parents. Any help you can get will really improve your chances. Okay, so when you left college, what was your experience like finding jobs and everything? Well, the great thing about majoring in music education is you're given many opportunities to meet new people. When you do your internships with other band directors, it gives you an idea of the experience you need in teaching in an actual school. Well, that's great you're able to get experience early. Yeah, and the great thing is, is that you're able to explore areas around you. When I was searching for a job, I looked for schools in my area that I really liked. And if I liked it and it was nearby, or even if I had to travel for a little bit, I submitted my application and I just waited. So when you were hired, what did you have to do as a first time band director? Well, as a first time band director, I had to have the ability to adapt into teaching for the first time. I also needed to like have the confidence of meeting all the new staff here at the school and all the students. I know the first time I came, I had to create relationships with all these students to be able to um, like connect with them on a personal level. Because if I'm going to be their teacher for four years, I need to know who they are. And being able to create lesson plans and everything and having discussions with all the staff and everyone is a really big like part that I had to work on because I'm not really good at that. But anyways, as you know, I teach band, guitar, and orchestra. So in college, I had to gain all the necessary skills for that in order to start my teaching. Thank you so much for telling me your story. It really helped me plan for my future in college. Oh, you're welcome. It really was no problem. Take care now.